welcome back to your 30 days of yoga. Now we're gonna take it down a notch today. And we're gonna to come to a lovely bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana, really great for opening the front body. Either an option to keep it nice and energized or maybe a little more restorative. If you've got a brick, we're gonna use it. If not, absolutely no worries at all. We'll use our trusty hands, trusty arms to support our lower back. So starting off, come to your back on the mat. Feet are going to land hip width distance apart and knees are drawing directly over them. So everything is in line, hips in line with knees, knees in line with feet. Walk your heels as close to your bum, just so you can tickle the back of your heels. So not too far away and not too close, just into that space. Hands are pressed down, roll the shoulders and just feel your back really just melting into your mat. Now press your feet into your mat. From there, you should start to feel this energy traveling all the way up your legs and your glutes starting to engage a little bit. Great. From that place, tuck your tailbone so that your lower back becomes flush with the mat. Just find that space. Now with the tailbone tucked, we're gently gonna to start to roll the spine all the way up, lifting the hips and coming to our bridge pose. So hands are pressing down and just slowly, really enjoy this way up of lifting bone by bone, peeling the spine off the mat, lifting the hips. And when you get to the top, snuggle your shoulder blades underneath you. So really wrap them in. Hands start to interlace and you draw your hands away from you, shoulders squeezing, elbows squeezing, to find even more of a lift through your hips. Feet stay planted down and you've got space for your neck to be really lovely and long rather than this squished pose. Take a big breath here, inhale, can you squeeze the bum, lift the hips a little more. And now as you exhale, release the hands, release the shoulders, and bone by bone, lay your spine back down, rolling all the way back. Now you either have the option to take that bridge again and just find that same energy, that same lift. Or if you want to move through something a little, bit, a little more restorative, take your brick if you have one. If you don't have one, don't worry. I'm gonna talk you through it. So come all the way back down to your back back where we were. Lower back is planting, feet are pressing into the mat, tuck the tailbone, start to roll the spine all the way back up. Find the highest point for your hips to travel, snuggle the shoulder blades, and then bring your brick on its highest setting if that feels right for you, and just place it underneath your sacrum, so underneath that bony part of your bum, just slightly at the top of your glutes on your lower back, and allow for your hips, your sacrum, your your pelvis to really rest all the way onto that brick. Hands are simply going to press down back of the hands to the mat and just leave your feet where they are. Just let your head hang, no, no tension in the neck and just find this lovely supported restorative bridge with the brick. And you can stay here for as many breaths as feels right when you want to come out. Simply lift the hips, remove the brick, and roll back down through the spine. So if you don't have a brick, get rid of that. Rolling all the way up through the spine, find your highest, your highest setting of your bridge, lifting the hips, then snuggle your elbows underneath you. Heels of the hands are going to start to come to the lower back and face in towards the spine. So both hands snuggle all the way in and the fingertips reach out towards the side. Now here, you've got your own support, your own brick. So just find the, the legs, the bum releasing and just feel the weight in your hands, in your arms. A real self-support here. And again, just take as many breaths as you need to to really just balance the body melt everything down and when you're ready lift the hips engage the legs release the hands and roll all the way back down and when you find your mat hug the knees into the chest and just give yourself a lovely squeeze all the way in and just the release through the lower spine and then let the legs come all the way back down 
And that is your bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana. So really nice opening in the hip flexors, in the front of the body. Take whatever you need to. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.